Today we finally get a release date for No Man's Sky. We're dropped onto a new icy planet and we're given tons of brand new details about the gameplay. So here we go. Hello there my fellow explorers. It's Robbie with Open World Games and today we're talking about one of my most anticipated games of 2016 and that is No Man's Sky. So No Man's Sky is officially coming out June 21st, 2016 to the PlayStation 4 and PC and that is for the United States and then the United Kingdom will be receiving the game on June 24th. Finally we have an official release date. Cannot freaking wait for this game. So what about them new gameplay details? So deep down of course No Man's Sky is still very much an RPG at heart. You'll be upgrading your ship weapons and suit from the get-go and there's going to be several types of blueprints that can be scavenged from down ships and installed on your gun, ship, or suit. Of course, this isn't just an open world game, but an open galaxy with open worlds. Within it, it is mind-blowing. In fact, there are millions of them. And like Sean Murray, the creative director on the game, goes on to state that it's likely you'll never explore most of the galaxy uh, during your journeys in No Man's Sky. And because you are an explorer, don't expect any hand-holding. There's limited guides, no mini-map. You are a true explorer in this game like Bloodborne and Dark Souls. The game wants you to get lost and figure it out. And that's one of the fun things about open world games is just getting lost and wondering what to do next. And what we've seen from No Man's Sky previously is simple demonstrations of wandering planets just being in all of the visuals and discovering new animal life and plants. But what about humans and other races? Well, guess what? They are around. Yes, actually on this icy planet, for example, you can run into a galactic market outpost and once inside, meet a new character who is selling and trading goods there. You'll want to take shelter on some planets because they can be toxic, freezing, or too hot for your character to stay out in the elements. Sean Murray, Creative Director on No Man's Sky goes on to say a lot of the planets are occupied. Expect to run into bases and other outposts. Plus, there are some dialogue options to interact with anyone you run into. And if you please them, they will gift you some cool items. There will be several races that also speak their own languages. So, discovering new tablets throughout the world will help you with your language skills and decipher what they are saying. Uh, in conversations and yes there will be conversations in the game and expect each race to offer their own unique ships and suits and have rivalries with one another a detailed reputation system will tell you how that certain race or faction perceives you bonding with them will net you rewards and trading and selling items with them is also possible so as you can see there's a very detailed system here when it comes to the races and factions in No Man's Sky, and it's unknown how many there are out in the galaxy. Hacking is also another mechanic recently revealed. You can hack landing pads to get off of planets, and these require bypass chips. Of course, remember moving from the planet's surface to actual space is 100% in real time and seamless. And by the way, No Man's Sky boasts no loading times at all. Most impressive indeed. You'll run into space stations on your travels, which will also act as save points too. So that's how you're going to really save your game. Exploring is a blast and destruction is a huge part of the game. In fact, players can destroy the ground beneath them to find caves and more, opening up further findings. But Robbie... Exploring is all cool, but what about combat? I want to get in there and shoot some aliens. Yep, there is combat in the game both on the planet's surface and in your spaceship, but be careful. You can stir up trouble with police, gain a wanted level. There's several different tiers up to wanted level 5. It's sort of like similar to the Grand Theft Auto series, and then you will be hunted down. You can opt to be a survivor, trader, miner, pirate, or a combination of these things. It's really up to you in No Man's Sky. Your weapon, ship, 
and suit will reflect who you want to be. Oh, so June 21st can't come soon enough. I cannot wait for this one. Uh, Hello Games also released information about their collector's edition as well about No Man's Sky. You can find that in the description below. And you know what? I am going to include a ton of articles in the description below that you can read on and check out. There's tons of new information floating around about the game. Thanks guys so much for watching. Subscribe for more No Man's Sky and more open world gaming goodness. And I will see you in space soon.